Not again. Eh? She can't prosper. She can what? Prosper. She can't prosper. And what else? She put something on the altar. She put her first one, but it doesn't have all the things that she wants. This one's the one that has all the things but that she wants. Her main list is this one. she's supposed to be having. So she cannot put this list on the altar. Never. Because all she wants is in that list. Okay, let me show you how God works. Leave her. Angel of the Lord, carry her. And God let her drop the thing on the altar. Move ahead. Angel. It's stopping her. They put something in the $10 note to block her destiny. Where's the $10 note? Go bring, it. bring it. Hey. Gave her $10 note since how many years? Now she thinks the $10 note is a blessing. Let us see how you will not be free. $10 note is there. Grandmother. Hey. I command you in Jesus' name. Now, okay, let's find the secret of this $10 note. Pick it in the name of Jesus. I prayed for her on Tuesday. But this is what was holding her that she wasn't going free. Who gave her the $10 note? How many years ago? How when? Oh, when she graduated from university, they gave her ten dollar notes. What was his ten dollar note supposed to do? Stop her from succeeding, but but she needed so much since it's the only thing her grandmother's ever given her. So she didn't want to spend it. She valued her grandmother so much that she refused to spend the ten dollar note since last year. Two years. And the $10 note that the grandmother gave to her was to limit her. But because she valued the grandmother, she's been keeping it and not spending it. And the more she kept it, try. It's been in your pocket since. In your wallet. Put it on the altar. Me, I'm going to chop this one. This ten dollar. I release her blessings, her progress, her marriage, her job. I release her destiny. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release houses, husbands, children, everything. I open the limits from you. No more limitation. At the count of three, you go free. One, two, three. In Jesus' name. Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. I like when they are like this. They are so special. When they fight, Satan. Okay, drink. In the name of Jesus Christ. Drink. Father, leave her, leave her. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I set her free. I set her free. I set her free. Don't, don't, don't. In Jesus' name. Look at it. Everything that Satan put there, it is the water of sweetness. This is what I wanted her to drink a little bit. You touch. There's anything in your system, be it in your bone. That's what is happening there. Everything that the enemy has planted in her system. The water of sweetness will go and begin to and be, amen. amen glory to god begin to draw all the poison everything it took away her ability to have ch children she, she she won't be able to, to which, have children which is a confession I, already i put i put my baby inside of her but when you prayed for her, when, she, when you delivered her the first time, I, I gave her 
cramps that made her a very unproductive person. What is the water doing to you there? It's, it's burning and restoring things, her, her kidneys, her, her livers. What did you put in her? Who are you? Who are you? I, uh, I am the serpent, serpent, serpent. I was there and it was, no one was buying her stuff. It's beautiful, trust me. She could make millions, supply international stores, supply even South African Woolies, Polo, Gucci, whatever. Those people who want to work with her, but because I'm here, I'm blocking her. But anyway, you tried with the encounter, because so far, there's a lady who owns a store. She, she, that lady wants to go! Excited now, we've been taking the water of sweetness in Christ Ambassadors Church. Last week was phenomenal, and I know as you're sitting there, God has done something unique in your life. And the testimonies we're about to hear now are about the water that people partook last week, believing God in faith for what they believe in God to do in their lives. Sister, please tell us your name, where you're from, and what God has done for you. Okay, um, my name is Tanache, and I live here in Kimpton Park. Um, I just want to thank God for his healing power that went to work in my body like last week when I was delivered and also drank the, um, the water of sweetness. Previously I used to have like health problems that I just didn't understand. Doctors couldn't even tell me like maybe what was wrong with my ear or my eyes or whatever. But since then I haven't had any like chest pains, I haven't had any cramps. And I can actually see better. Previous, I had to squint, like just to, for me to see, um, like what's on the projector. And also, I had like problems, just like focusing my eyes and stuff. And I used to wear glasses, but now I actually don't. I threw them away. I threw my prescriptions away. And <laughs> Hallelujah, glory be to God. The water of sweetness. Bishop, Dr. Ida Peterside brings to us a special opportunity to experience the power of God like never before. The breathtaking, spirit filled and life-changing plenty of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. 